Hey guys, Nathan Brandon Masters. You know what this is. We're going to be testing out more SD cards today, helping you guys get the best bang for the buck. Uh, so I have two new SD cards, and uh, this one is from PNY. See this one right here? You can pick this up on Amazon, as well as this one, which is a no-name card I've never heard of before, and uh, that is this one. The uh, B O Y M X U. And the first thing we're going to do is see if the camera actually recognizes them. So uh, let's do that. I can't really shoot a lot of stuff, obviously, so uh, I'm actually enjoying doing these videos. Uh, we're going to actually start with this one. So this is 64 gigs, 95 megabytes per second, and they claim that the write speed is also uh, 95. So we're going to check that out right now. So first, let's see if the camera recognizes it. I'm going to put it in there. Close it up. No card, no card. Nope, not even recognized by the camera. So that one's a dud. You know what, let's just see. Let's, let's, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We have format here. Well, guys, let's, uh, Let's see what it do. All right. It's formatting. I thought it was a lost cause there, guys. So. Wow. Okay. Uh, it's ready. It is ready. So uh, let's see. You know what? I'll test and see uh, if it does 30 frames, for, uh, you know, 30p raw. We'll check that out. But uh, let's check out the next card. Let's see what we got here. Wow, that that was that was a surprise, guys. That one was a surprise. Okay. So pop that one out. It was recognized, guys. Now this is the PNY. All right, this is PNY. Uh, this is 64 gigs, and uh, they say that this one is suitable for HD, or not HD, for 4K. It's a class 10 U3. Come on, there we go. All right. Okay, well that one says ready, all, okay, so it automatically recognized that. So it's already ready. We're gonna go ahead and format it. Let's go ahead. Hit, oh, let's focus. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's format it. And that is something, you know, sometimes you will get a card that says, you know, it says no card, and then you go here, and if you see this format, that means it does recognize it, and it will format it. So, let's go. Uh, there we go. All right, formatting another one. All right. So there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is put the other card back in, and I'm going to go and you know, I'm going to set up a little something here and see if it will stay on for 10 minutes in 30p raw. So let's do that. All right, guys, so this is it. We have Agent Motor of X Files fame being stalked by some weird supernatural chick in the background. So let's do it. And uh, right off the bat, you know, two minutes in, we're getting the flashing exclamation point. And I left for a minute and came back. It's already there. So just based on what normally happens, I'm going to assume that this started about a minute in. But I wanted to be fair. Okay, I wanted to be fair and give this card a chance. So... Uh, let's switch it to 24p 
raw. Let's see what happens there because sometimes that makes a difference, but almost immediately we're getting the flashing exclamation point. So yeah, it's struggling. It's, it's not keeping up. But this is what got me even in ProRes. In ProRes, we're still getting the flashing exclamation point. So it's a no-go. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and change it out. We're going to put the PNY in there and uh, see how well it does. You guys know the score. I put the card in. I want it to roll for at least 10 minutes on ProRes RAW at 30 frames per second. If it can handle ProRes RAW at 30, everything else should be a cakewalk. So we got it in. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. So this is the easy stuff. This is ProRes HQ. And uh, as you can see, we're a minute in. No problem. Uh, I'm probably not going to do a lot of this, but here's that footage if you want to see it. I'll uh, do a little color grading just for the fun of it. And I got to admit, I really enjoy working with the ProRes file. I, I just I just like the way it grades. It grades well. And I don't do a ton of color grading, but uh, I just like how it looks, how it stands up to the grade. I mean, I, I like it. And uh, this is my quickie color grade uh, for this. But uh, let's jump into the real stuff. We're going back to B-Raw at 30. So we're going to see what happens with this card, but we do know we can record in ProRes high quality on this card. So we know that already. And uh, let's see what happens with this after a quick battery change. And uh, we're back up five minutes and 37 seconds in, no flashing exclamation point. We might have another one guys, we might have another one. So. I'm just going to let it roll and let it go all the way out to 10 minutes since that's the chosen metric I'm using for everything else. And uh, we are indeed past 10 minutes. And I think I let it roll to uh, 12 minutes or something on this. But you see that we can indeed record B-Raw at 30 frames per second. No flashing exclamation point. No issues keeping up. So that's it, guys. We managed to find another one that's readily available, so you do have some options. All right, guys, so what's the verdict? Well, you saw for yourself. This one, it worked, technically. I mean, it did it, but even in ProRes, you got the exclamation point. It means it's struggling. It's struggling to write that data, and if it's struggling to write that data, that means possibly drop frames. And I mean, if it's struggling in ProRes, you know what it's doing in RAW. So let's get that out of there. This one, this one, let's look at it. Let me put that up close for you guys. This one did it. PNY, 64 gigs. This is a class, uh, what's that, class 10, okay? I'll put a link to this one in the description uh it'll be an affiliate link so you know i get a little something fun, but you know no extra cost to you so uh, here it is guys this worked it did 10 minutes as a matter of fact it did 12 minutes if it does 10 minutes it'll probably you know keep going there you have it guys we found another one that works so we can put that one with our other 64 gig champions here these are the ones that work They've done raw at 30 frames per second without a problem. You got your Kingston, the uh, SanDisk Extreme 95, uh, 95 megabits card. It's an older card. And uh, you have this one. This one you can grab off of Amazon. This one you can grab off of Amazon. Uh, these are hit and miss. Okay. Now I have some more coming sometime this week. And... Uh, one of them I know already works because I've seen it work on another channel, but uh, it has a newer version, so I'm going to test both of those. You might have some more options, and that's what this is all about, giving you guys options, the best bang for your buck when it comes to these cards. And, uh, you know, if you get a 64 gig that works, you might be able to obviously find a 128 or a 256 
uh, that works, you know, with the same uh, read and write speed and everything. So that's what you're looking for, the best bang for your buck when working with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera or the uh, OG Film PCC, as we like to say around here, the original uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. So you guys take it easy. And again, I'll let you know when I get some more cards. I think this will probably be uh, the last batch coming this week. And uh, with all the snow and everything that we have around here right now, uh, that may be delayed. So we'll see what happens. Other than that, you guys take it easy. Awesome. Don't look back, we're here to stay. A life we knew would come one day. And this is it, the borderline, to where the future leaves us behind. The fire will burn.